What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Faster. for a shot of Igni. shot of Igni. It ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual, just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, Everything perfect, but the fourth is man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of the trade. Shut me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? 
Nothing didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, Witcher. Now for a shot of Igni. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Why do you priests take an interest in the Fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistek dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time. Exclusively. You can hire me, but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Then it will be cheapest to kill you. Three on one. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him! Strangers coming! Run for your lives! They hear us squealing. They'll kill us and take her all the same. So I'll slaughter her myself. Hide her corpse beneath the floorboards. Bastards won't have her! All right, all right. Run to the woods. Wait there till I come get you. Understood? Yes, Dad. Go. Quick, now. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. I haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, vodka. Who's this? It? Brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. We share a round, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? Is it just me, or is that none of your fucking business? I must be hearing things. You ain't. He meant to insult. I'll have to kill him then. Now! <laughs> Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it. An iron fist he's got! 
Where's Hendrik? You deaf? You understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand! Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both. strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day, in the mist. Be gone! Leave me be, whoever you is! Get away! Calm down. It's over. Aye. It's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that, ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik. Supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. Save terror through and through. Hendrik screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. Just wonderful. We're 
weren't here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. <laughs> Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. sack of grain, amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige, also cited in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged, ashen hair, scar on her face, avoids contact with others. Drunken swine, so-called baron hosted subject at his castle, or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown, talked to baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch, subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch. Conflict ensued, cause unknown, find the witch. Talk to the peasantry, village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. ones come when they come I'll tend to them meanwhile let's you and me chat like to know who I'm untying John Verdon served in the 10th Maribor division long way from your army the army don't exist no more black one smashed it a bit I scarped off into the woods just before that happened join a group of refugees fucking bursting with patriotism they were as soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. 
For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I've not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Mate's just about ready. Save your gold or I'm begging you. Let them good and star. We've got us a beast. The bandit's gone and took me your gold or help. Doinkers in the middle of nothing. Quite the banquet. Where'd you get all the meat? Found porkers wambling all about. So we roasted one of them. What a bite. Plenty to go round. I'll pass, thanks. Your loss. Caius! Cuss off another hunk! No! I won't stand for it! They done roasted your golder, the Mavax! Uh, him again. You want another bannikin? What's this about? They slaughtered your golder, cooked her up, wazzocks! Same old song, nothing doing, gotta wallop him. Caius, Jacob, grab him! Nay, Sean B, help! He hasn't harmed you, leave him alone. We go all chummy, like, offer you roast hog, and you do this? No grockle's gonna give us orders. Clobber him, lads! You hurt? Uh, uh, nay, but you gold her. Oh, zones! They done cooked her! You must have really loved that pig. Who are you? I'm Geralt of Rivia. Nay, I'm Yontek of, 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 of these parts. Live in this village alone? Nay, they's home. Flap and Hegel and Bebon, only Klaus and Igor are gone missing. Igor, Klaus, and Igor. Igor's the fool that eat grass. Klaus, he's the elder man. Every man knows Klaus. But where's they now? I don't know. Took by the piggy magic, must be. The pigs are magic? They sure is. See for yourself. <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look at the pigs. Good, lush. Of it, but my medallion's going wild. Yontek's right, they're enchanted. Yeah, definitely magic. Yeah, definitely magic. Yeah, definitely magic. Never you mind. You'll go where you was good. You'll go to heaven. Yontek? Hi. The pigs. They do seem to be magic. Aye. Cause, uh... Cause of the... Cause of the sorcery. It done turned them all that way. So those pigs, they used to be humans? Aye. What did you think? Help them. Turn them back. What changed the people into pigs? Twere magic. I done gave Igor the key. He gathered them all. Off they went. What key is this? 
this end. Here. Opens the hog hut. That does. Where'd you get the key? <laughs> I found it. Showed it to Igor, right? And he told all the folks to go. Then they was changed. Need to take a closer look at the, uh, hog hut. Where is it? Why, it's that away, past the hill. You walk and walk, and then you're there. Got it? I'll find it. after all. something out. Medallion's vibrating. Pig must be from the village, too. <laughs> Wait, that sounded like... You understand me? <laughs> All right, let's try this. One oink for yes, two for no. Got it? Don't know how long you've been here, but you gotta be hungry. Got something tasty for you. Guess it was tasty. All right, let's talk. Yontek mentioned that only the herbalist and the alderman were missing from the village. Makes you one of them. You, Klaus, the village alderman? You're the local herbalist? Heard about you. Igor? Nice to meet you. I'm Geralt. Know this place? This a tomb? Hmm. We in a temple? Wait here, I should look around. See you later. Hog hut. Makes sense now. One gold coin at the bottom. Gold must have been kept here. Whoever set this knew what they were doing. Never known a monster to set a trap. Someone's here. Booby trap. Whoever said it knew what they were doing. Traps everywhere. Gotta be careful. Grass stains on the shirt. And an herb sack underneath. Must be that herbalist Igor's. All right. Let's talk. <laughs> there was gold here. Know what happened to it? Gotta to talk to Yontek about this. Think I know what happened. We're in a temple. 
and there was a tub full of gold here. Yontek found the key, showed it to the villagers, and they got greedy. Thing is, no one realized the gold might be protected by a curse. <laughs> to lift it, we gotta bring back the gold. I should ask Yontek, maybe he knows where it is. <laughs> Last one. The village is safe for now. Yontek? Aye. Finally, know what happened to the locals. They fell victim to a curse. So, can you uncurse them? Yes, but I'll need your help. Oh, but, all right. You weren't transformed like the other villagers. Gotta say, I'm curious why. Well, because I didn't go with them. You didn't take any gold from the temple? Uh, nay. Why would I? Some gold was stolen. That's what caused the curse. Know where the gold is? I done hid it. Well, you gotta return it. And all the... villagers need to be there when you do. Oh. What? Get the gold, and I'll get the pigs together. Meet by the mill, and we'll all go to the hog hut. It oughta work. Well, he's going to save him. I'll get the gold. Gotta hurt the pigs there somehow. Axie, maybe? Let's get moving. Towards the mill, piggies. Wait from there. He's all here, except for Igor. Igor's waiting for us. Remember, once we're there, put the gold back where it was. You get the pigs. I'll do the carrying and dropping off. Let's go. Hurry it up. Beasties, they tell her to know. Protect them! Defend them! Hasties! Let's hurt them! Protect them! Defend them! Hasties! Let's hurt them! Go! Go! Move! Protect them! Defend them! Let's go, move it. Protect them, protect them, De defend them. Face the face, these hurt them. Go, go, move!
I'm myself again. Thank you. Too early for joy. We need a head count of human heads. Almost all of us. Thank you, White One. Thank Yontek. He helped me a lot. But it were Yontek brought us the key. Must have known the goat was cursed. He didn't want to go with us. But I didn't. It was Igor. Igor wanted. Won't get out of this dung breath. Get him! Help me! First one to raise a hand against Yontek loses it. Now, now. We was just. Freaks likely to gut us. Let's go from here quick. Ooh, thanks. Probably shouldn't go back to the village. Could end badly for you. Need to find another place for yourself. Oh, right. Whatever that means. Godspeed now! over me head by a common churl. I was born a noble's daughter. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. What happened to him? A caller came one day. A drifter, a hunter. It wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. We prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offence, refused to bid me farewell. Years on I returned but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. Think I've been there. Don't need to worry about monsters anymore. I thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. I haven't the coin to reward you, but... Here, take this. It opens a chest. What's there is yours. What'll that leave you with? A roof over my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I can never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. Must be the manor the old woman mentioned. Movement. Gotta keep my ears open. Rustling. Over there. Something's not right. Shit. That didn't shut itself. The wire. <laughs> the trip wire. Problem solved. Hmm. This sort of attic. Gotta get up there somehow. Might be just long enough to reach that upper level. See what's up there. Your reflexes have slowed. Hope you're not hurt. Those were my traps. Letho. Yeah, didn't expect to see you either. You one of them? Who's them? To the Emperor, 
mercenaries, to themselves, bounty hunters, to me, ordinary sons of bitches. Well, got nothing to fear from me. Took a job from an old woman, supposed to get rid of the monsters here. Did that already. Count on you remembering that when you collect your pay. Hiding in a place overrun by monsters. Good idea. Means people don't wander in by accident. And the ones who come on purpose, well, I'm prepared for them. Assassins? Emperor just decided to get rid of me. I'm an inconvenient witness after all. I've run into loads of men out of kill me ever since I left Loch Nguyen. Now I understand all the traps. Gotten real careful. For good reason. Don't look a bit like lost travelers. They're not. Means Lewis sold me out. Lewis? Old friend, kinda. Did a few jobs together once, a while past. Lewis recommended this place to me. So maybe those men down below wound up here by accident. Eat my own boot before I believe that. Gotta get rid of them. Coming? Lead the way. We got a plan of attack? Yeah. Improvise. Assassins. They're just scouts. Came to see if Lewis was telling the truth. Rest must be waiting nearby. And your old pal probably knows where. He was the only one knew I'd be here. Must have told them. Think me and him are due for a little chat. Hmm. Could be interesting. Love to see it. Come along. Decided two witches should loosen his tongue that much quicker. Stay close to me. It's one of those places that's hard to find if you don't know where to look. Stick closer, Geralt! Lewis. Somehow doubt he's one of your best friends. You know how it is in this trade. Drink with someone in the evening, check if he's robbed you in the morning. How'd you meet? Was before Faltas kissed this world goodbye. Lewis was a wanted man in Eden. Hefty bounty on his head and normal contracts were hard to come by. So I decided to catch the bastard make some coin. Tracking him down proved easier than killing a drowner. He was, uh, merry-making at the Golden Hanged Man, smack in the middle of Hag. Nabbed him, tied him up, but the guard post didn't open till dawn. So we had a few hours. Started talking, killing time. Chat was so nice that once dawn came, I let him go. And that's why you trusted him? Felt he owed you one? I was stupid. Stupidity can cost you. But betrayal costs even more. Good to see you, alive and well. Oh, yeah? Of course! <laughs> We're old mates, ain't we? Who's your friend? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Another one? What's this? Prime contract available in the area? 
Sit down. Care for a drink? I don't drink with traitors and rats. Whoa, let's be civil now. Remember, you're on my turf. Arno Vesta's men showed up at the manor. You were the only one knew I was there. They've been nipping at your heels for a while. Said so yourself. Perhaps I finally caught a whiff. Hmm. With your help. You've not been here five minutes, and already you've offended me twice. No insult worthy of scum like you. Careful, men! They're witches! Witches don't attack humans! Lie still or you'll bleed to death. Tell me where Vesto's men are. I'll give you something to staunch the bleeding. They're north of here. Uh, in Linden Vale. Don't believe you somehow. Why would I lie? Letho, you can't forgive me. It weren't nothing personal. The things... The things been shy of late. And we fell afoul of the black ones. Vesta showed up one day, offered half of the bounty on your head, and a letter of absolution from the Emperor. You gotta understand, you don't say no to an offer like that. I understand. My medicine! Gotta understand, Lewis. You don't betray men like me. Time to see Vester going with you. Damn you! This rabbit dogs him! Vester, Elfgardian name. From Metner, I think. But he's hunted and killed everywhere from the far south to the Dragon Mountains. Why have I never heard of him? Goon goes by different names. Brandon Vilf, Apple Saxon, Manfred Wimplebottoms. Manfred Wimplebottoms? Good name for a clown. Once he's done in, sure weren't laughing. Preferred method, rip the teeth out one by one. And cut the mouth open ear to ear. It's how they punish deadbeat debtors in the Nilf Guardian underworld. Quite the career. Underworld to serving the Emperor and his court. Yeah, scum does usually float to the top. Keep your eyes open. Think they're really here? Don't know. But like I said, I've grown real careful. Mounts. Gotta be worth more than the entire village. Take it easy. What's in the barn? Hey! Got company? Run and find your parents. Tell them to grab whatever's valuable, take you and flee. Got it? Good. Give this to your mother. Now run. What was that? Compensation. Stay here and don't interfere, no matter what happens. Plug your ears. Blazes? 
A bolt of lightning or something? Shut up, all of you. Letho of Gullet. Good to see you, alive and well. Funny. Second time today I've heard that lie. It is no lie. You will certainly fetch a higher bounty alive. Really? How much? Enough to buy me an estate in Kavir, where I will lie about eating fruit till the end of my days. Not bad. Not every man gets to know the price on his hand. Most men would prefer not to have one. But why have you come? To make my life easier? We were passing by. Decided it was time to finally meet the famous Arno Vester in person. I am flattered. Shame we'll not get to know one another better. Why? Going somewhere? No. Simply because I will kill you in a moment. Wanna kill me, but you don't even know me. Not nice. Think I have to punish you for that. But I won't kill you. I'll just cut off your hands. Cut off all your hands, one man after the other. Till the end of your days, those stumps will remind you of the mistake you made. Bloody hell. You fucking dimwit. I hadn't time to exchange two words with the man. He provoked me! We have no quarrel with you, but one false move and... And what? You will end like him. What say you to that? What do I say? Simple. You're as good as dead. Sanguibarian venom. Something's fishy. Off if I hadn't been here. Hmm. So you proved useful after all. Could have told me. <laughs> no fun in that. Find this amusing? Not so loud, Geralt. I just rose from the dead. Zangwebarian venom could still kill you, you know. Got the antidote? Hmm. Saddlebag. Take it in a minute. Couple of days I'll be like new. What was it for, that whole farce? Told you. I'd been on the run since Loch Muin. Loads of pursuers. Got ambushed once, almost died. So I decided it was time to end it. Once and for all. Found Vester's gang and paid off his arbalist. You just witnessed the rest of the story. What if he'd crossed you, like Lewis? I had to risk it. If you hadn't cut down every last witness, I'd be a free man. Letho of Gullet is dead. Word of that would have spread across the continent in days. 
Wouldn't have done it if you'd let me in on your plan. Told you not to get involved. Well, my plan's in shambles. I should really disappear. Hmm. You could wait things out at Kaer Morhen. With your friends from the School of the Wolf? Huh. <laughs> no thanks. Could end badly. Tell them I sent you. They'll understand, give you space. Kaer Morhen, you say? Hmm. Why not? Got some loose ends to tie up, but then I'll head there. Help you somehow? Need anything? No thanks. I'll be fine. So, see you at Kaer Morhen. See you, Wolf.